Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt from HowToMotorcycleRepair.com, also known as HTMR for short. All right, so the video you're about to see here on YouTube is a sample. Uh, the full video runs an hour and 10 minutes and can be purchased by clicking on the link here. Now, another way you can get this video for um, a little bit less is you can become a patron at the $10 level and also you get this t-shirt or a black one. Now, if you don't want to miss out on future videos, um, you can also become a patron at the $3 level, and that way any future premium videos um, you'll get for free. You'll just get instant access automatically uh, for your support. All right, so this video goes in a lot of detail. We degang the carbs, completely um, disassemble the slides, all the linkage components. Um, we talk about cleaning methods, jetting considerations if you're running pods or exhaust, and once they're back together, I show you how to bench sync them so that way um, when you get them back on your bike, it'll, it'll run halfway decent and then you can vacuum sync them. Um, we talk about the wide open throttle stop, adjusting the choke blades, um, and so forth. It's, it's all right there. Everything's really covered in this video. All right, as far as what models and years are um, covered, the CB350, CB400, CB500 and CB550, all the inline fours that have mechanical slide carburetors, this video is for you guys. Now I do have the CB500 and CB550 service manual and parts diagram on my site already, so if you wanna grab those for free, go ahead, and that'll help with um, you know exploded diagrams and whatnot. So I think that's all I gotta say, let's just jump right into the sample video. All right, guys, so let's start taking these carbs apart. Uh, before we do that, let's just define a few things. Um, this is the airbox side, okay? This is the left-hand side of the bike. Here's the right side. This is carb one, two, three, and four. What I like to use is magnetic trays, and I usually work with however many carbs there are, that's how many trays I have. So. One, two, three, four. And then I just put a paint marker on here and I labeled them one through four. So whatever comes off of this carb, I throw on one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Um, so that just helps it keep it more organized. And um, also what I would recommend doing is, you know, obviously you have this video, but anytime you're dealing with something like this, take pictures before you take it apart. You'll save so much time during reassembly. These carbs are pretty pretty dirty, but I think the process I use is gonna clean them up pretty nice. So um, let's get started. Um, some of the tools you're gonna need, I mean, I, I can't stress enough to use JIS screwdrivers. Uh, these Vessel Impact Impacta screwdrivers are awesome. So you're gonna need a number two and a number three you may need a number one. I'm not sure yet. We'll see when we get into it, but definitely use that. Uh, this model here, none of these screws are stripped, which is surprising. This is a 75. I mean, you would think someone would be in here at some point screwing these all up, but every single screw on here is mint. So that is awesome. I'm usually, <laughs> usually have to fish out one or two stripped ones and it's just a big pain in the butt. So. Uh, this this looks pretty good. Okay, we can start by taking the tops off. This is a number two, and this one's already loose. So that's good. It's always easier when things are loose, right? Okay, just pop that off and notice that there's a gasket here and we're gonna have to yeah, these are really really brittle but you can go ahead and peel those off but we'll, we'll deal with that later so just repeat that for carbs one through four carbs in a vise and what I want to do is pop the spring off here Okay, now we got to uh, remove these nuts and they have these little tangs that are bent over the, the hex 
So you got to get in here and pry them off. And of course the camera's in the way here so I can't even work. But just if you take a hammer and you just tap the 